Hey everyone, what a depressing week. Another tosspot killed some people, not normally in use in itself, except it was right outside Parliament this time, so it'll be generating column inches for years to come. Just look at Guy Fox, and he didn't succeed with his plot. Papers still mention him every year. As for the Westminster Bridge attack, it was actually a year to the day since the Brussels bombings where 32 people were killed, so I suppose it's maybe lucky that in comparison our British attempt was quaintly rubbish. On the other side of the spectrum, this week also saw the death of Irish terrorist, mastermind and, and general human vermin Martin McGuinness. I've never visited Northern Ireland myself, but I did live for many years in Glasgow, which I suppose is like a sectarian version of visiting Euro Disney rather than going to Florida. Anyway, he's in the ground now, although the Queen was unable to attend a funeral, seeing as she couldn't find her dancing shoes. Um, a lot of folk now consider the Troubles to be something from a bygone era or, or something that happened far away across the Irish Sea and I suggest going on Google and looking up images of the Bishopsgate bomb that London had back in the 90s. You know, People forget the Gherkins only there because Martin McGuinness and his pals used a van filled with Semtex to destroy the old Baltic exchange. But um, you know, fair enough, things have changed, let's move on. Um, think about the positives in Northern Ireland because it's now a beautiful peaceful place and really nice people and they gave us bush mills and the delorean motor company and nowadays the only shooting they do is when they're shooting game of thrones anyway see you next week and if you like these click on the channel to subscribe bye